<laughs> like that's ever gonna happen. What a load what of a shit. Crap. Are we already at 10,000 subscribers? Carl, are we already at 10,000 subscribers? Yes, K-Shot, the channel is indeed at 10,000 subscribers. Well, crap, what are we gonna do? Do we have anything planned? Uh, I don't think so, but we have to do something to say thank you to our subscribers in the entertaining video format. Hey, Paul, do you have an idea? I'm busy, that dog. Well, squad to you too, you little chicken wannabe. Uh, well, I guess we can ask Michelle. Hey, shot. Hey, shot. Do you need assistance? Is is there like a wormhole in here or something? How you guys keep on getting in here? But uh, yeah, I, I guess I need help. Who are you? We are the League of Forgotten YouTubers. Cross tags out on the passage of time. Do you want the same fate? Um, well, I, I don't really care. Do you got fruit punch up there? None whatsoever. We only have the fruit. <gasps> It's not even the good kind, too. There's a good kind? Well, what do I have to do? Uh, do I just have to make interesting quality content that I'm genuinely passionate about? Do you want to get into a ride? You must do the same thing everyone does. That would be different. And since it seems like you're stumped on figuring out what to do for this video, we'll just tell you the three things everyone does when they're freaking out of ideas but still want to upload for some reason. Number one, top ten videos. No, top five videos. Either one, you old filthy witch. But remember, it can never be in between. Why not? Do you want to Ah. Number two, Q and A's. Oh, come on. People actually care enough to ask me questions? Why? What are they even going to ask me? Toilets! Ah. And finally, number three, the funny moments. Maybe like a good fart joke. And <laughs> now, that, now that's comedy. Oh, and would you look at that? You've already done two out of three of these. You're a natural, my boy. Oh, come on. I like them. Shut up! Ah. Do all three of these and you shall be YouTube immortal. And shall bathe in the fires of Satan when you finally get what you deserve. Poodles! All right, then. If that's what a paper bag boy got to do, then that's what a paper bag boy will do. Let me tell you something. All right, what was the first thing on the list? Oh, yeah, top 10 videos. Well, isn't that ironic? Would you look at that? The video's already on its way to being 10 minutes. We gotta hurry. Uh, what should we talk about? How about something you already talked about in a private video? Carl, you're a genius. Oh, and I know just the one. I just gotta find it. Aha! My 100 subscriber special. Oh, it's so adorable. But if I talk about my favorite games of all time, I'll just ramble on for an hour. So how about we do, uh, top five of my favorite games that I've been playing a recently a bunch and that I really like. Um, yeah. Number five. <laughs> Come on, it, it's not 2018 anymore. I think it's finally time to take this to the backyard. Now for the real number five. All right, everyone knew this one was coming, so let's just get it out of the way quickly. Now, I've talked about this game a little bit in the past. The so new Super Smash, Smash Bros. Bros. got a just announced on the Switch a couple of days ago, ago. and I'm so, you know, just a smidge. But it's for a good reason. Everyone who's played Smash Bros., everyone who's ever glanced at it for a second, is now horrendously addicted to it. Uh, grandma is worried because of one reason. It's fun as hell. <laughs> it's the definition of fun. There is no person on Earth who can pick up a controller and say, I'll just play for one round, because it's easy to pick up and difficult to master. And the people who do master it go freaking ham with it. And this new edition does not hold back in any way, shape, or form. Bigger roster consisting of over 70 characters. Almost every stage from the past games are back. And don't even get me started on the gameplay. I don't even know why I even have to explain why this game is amazing. I mean, what other game lets you play as Mario, Sonic, Mega Man, Solid Snake, Simon, Belmont, Ryu, and freaking Pac-Man? And beat the crap out of the dog from Duck Hunt. I rest my case. As you all know, Mario is a freaking titan in the video game empire. Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Galaxy, Galaxy freaking 2, all masterpieces in their own right. No one could ever think Mario could ever be this good again. But out of nowhere, BAM! Ah crap, wrong one, wait a second. BAM! Mario Odyssey. Now some may say Mario Odyssey is the greatest Mario game of all time. And I would agree. It has all the amazing factors of Mario 64, but it doesn't make me want to die of rage. Son of a bitch! Just like Mario 64 and Super Smash Bros, it's really easy to pick up, but the people who master it just go freaking nuts with it. The capping mechanic is ingenious, the music is breathtaking, the visual aspect is like looking at a Vincent Van Gogh painting. I guess in other words, I'll, I'll let Dunky explain. You can be a tree. Five out of five, holy shit.
Now, if you just wanted to play the best superhero game of all time, Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4 is the game for you. Oh my god. J just look at it. Look at it. It's amazing. Most of the time in open world games, they're just filled with empty, gigantic worlds with nothing really to do in them. In this game, that is not the case. There's challenges, warehouses filled with criminals, crime everywhere in the city. They really did an amazing job playing good to their strengths. Because in a superhero game, you kind of want to feel like a... Uh, I don't know. Superhero? You want to feel freaking awesome. And in this game, you feel freaking awesome. I don't want to go too much into like the story. You're, you're just going to have to experience that for yourself. It is just that freaking good. So with that said, uh, um, I, I guess let's move on. Breath of the Wild is freaking awesome! Too loud! Oh, so sorry, that's my bad. Breath of the Wild is freaking awesome. I'm being dead serious, it, it really is. Because it's another great example of an open world with stuff actually, um, in it to do. But even with all this madness going on, with intense, thought-provoking puzzles, epic battles with guardians, finding all the towers, fighting this, and this? Oh, oh my god. God. Zelda still keeps this beautiful, chill vibe the entire time. Breath of the Wild is an unforgetting experience that not only every Zelda fan should play, but I honestly think that anyone who is a fan of gaming in general should play this. It's a masterpiece. You truly will not regret it, and you truly will not forget it. And number one, come on, you all know what it is. No! Uh huh? Oh, I bet you didn't see that coming. They know I'm not messing around. If you guys know Rare, then you guys know the golden age of gaming. And at the time, Rare was practically the Beatles of the gaming industry, perfecting practically every genre from fighting games to first person shooters to 3D platformers. And of course, we all know the king of 3D platformers at the time. Well, Mario, but Banjo was like co-king, you know, the pair kings. And yes, I know Yoko Ono, AKA Microsoft had to come around and ruin everything, but I wanna talk about that right now because because how can you think of a tragedy when looking at this freaking game? It's a bear with a bird in his freaking backpack. Like, come on. How can you not be happy looking at this? Banjo-Kazooie is the cream of the crop when it comes to gaming. Nothing is taken for granted in this game. Every turn you're learning new mechanics to play with. Every level is jam-packed with items to collect with sound effects more satisfying than this. Like, how is he doing that? It's cutting like butter. In conclusion, I guess my main thesis about this whole list has been... Ukulele freaking sucks! <gasps> Whoa! I, I guess that's that then. I, I guess we can continue to the next part of this video. <sighs> God. Dang it. Well, you know, actually, I've never done one before, so it could be fun. Let's just look at the comments, I guess. <laughs> Which one of your sons do you love more? All right, now let's not be crazy. I, I have one son, he, he's a bird, he, he's in the other room right now. I did not create this. Uh, <laughs> this I could not ever think to create. Uh, thank you very much. But it's Carl, okay? D don't, don't tell Paul. Why the paper bag? All right, I actually get this question quite a bit. It's actually not that much of a interesting story. So basically in my substitute teacher video, I, I was serious. I, I honestly had no idea how to portray myself in that video. So I quickly just slapped some stuff together and boom, the rest is history, I guess. Also, I really like the look. Like, usually in a video game, if it has the option for me to, like, wear a paper bag mask in some way, I, I usually will just put on the paper bag mask. And the first time, actually, I, I used the paper bag mask in a video game was when I was, like, eight or nine playing Roblox, so... God. Face reveal? Yeah, I, I get that um question uh quite a bit. Actually, not as much as people would think. Uh, just just a just a little bit, just a smidge, you know, just, just a tiny bit, just just a little bit. Um, uh, uh, soon. What do you look like? Um, uh, uh, are you freaking blind? How did you write this comment? Hey, Carl. Oh, oh wait, uh, Carl. There, there's actually some questions for you. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, cool. Hey, Carl. How old are you? Oh, now no, I think about it. I don't really know. Oh well. Next question. Wait. Is Carl keep me in his base? Okay, we can um we can skip that one. One second. Question for Carl: Are you really evil? Okay, we let's uh, skip that one too. Is Carl actually evil? It's the same guy. Hey, Keisha, these people are bullying me. Oh come on, it can't be that bad. Let me see the comments. No no no, you don't need to do that. The the language is too uh offensive. So I'll I'll just take these. Uh, th thank you.
That was weird. Um, I guess let's continue. Is the Earth flat? Uh, yeah. Totally. Like, I know uh, scientists like to say that the Earth is round, but one time I was on a plane and I, I saw flat. Thank you very much. I know Earth, okay? I've been on it a couple times, okay? Oh, look, Satan just asked me if we can be friends. Um, well, never been confronted by a celebrity before. <laughs> uh, only if I get to act like I'm like an evil Poseidon with like that pointy thing that you have. <laughs> Why no plastic bag? Well, because in the future, I don't want to be sued for cosplay. Favorite bad game you played? That's a really good question. Um, let me think. Probably Seven Granddad because it really sticks out to me because that moment when <laughs> I started the game, that was my genuine reaction. Just like, what the f- Either that or Sonic Schoolhouse. Those are both like really, I have really fond memories with playing those. And finally, I think we should save the most hard question for last. What is the meaning of life? The meaning of life is to find the meaning of life you, you've learned. Everyone applaud, everyone applaud for themselves. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. All right, I guess with those two done, I guess the only thing left is the funny moments part. So before we start reminiscing about all the good times we had in this long journey to 10,000 subscribers, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who's got us this far. Like, I know every YouTuber says it, but I think every YouTuber should say it. Like, I don't get why that's a criticism. Like, do you just want YouTubers to be like, yeah, I got here all by myself. Yeah, it was all me. My awesome content got me here. Well, <laughs> no, that's not true. You can make the best content in the world, but without these people watching you and subscribing to you, then that dream job you have of being a YouTuber is completely non-existent. So you might as well just say thank you. It's literally just two words. So thank you to the people who watched the video. Thank you to the people who subscribed. Thank you to the people who send in fan art. Everything helps, so just thank you. And if this is the way we're going to be starting out 2019, then let's just say 2019 is going to be a good year. So let's look back at all the good times we had leading up to this moment. Please enjoy. All right, it's time for the clubbing phase. You're going down. Come here. Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, I got your foot. <laughs> you stupid piece of shit. you. Defeated is the opponent. What? So it turns out this guy isn't that good of a thief after all, because he sounds the alarm as soon as he tries to pick lock one door. Has he lost his mind? Code red, code red. Whoa, dude, that sounds pretty serious. Did you hear the intenseness in his voice? Code red, code red. What? Um, he hello there. Uh, uh, what are you, what are you looking for there, buddy? Oh, jeez, I think Marky Mark hid this camera in this little boy's room. You are sick, sick mad, Mr. Wahlberg! No, but seriously, this goes on for like a solid two minutes. It's almost as if they just wanted to get footage of the room and this kid just walked into the middle of the set. Oh, God, I think the little boy found the camera. Yep, he's definitely gonna call the police on us. What? They then let Santa and his reindeer stay at their place, and I gotta say, he's getting a little bit too comfortable. For God's sake, Santa, please put on some pants. You're scarring the kids, man. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the haunting hour. I'm sorry, th there's just one episode that still gives me nightmares to this day. I can still remember the day I watched it for the first time like it was yesterday. I tried to warn you! I tried to warn you there were cheese puffs and he didn't listen! Now you're dead! Now you're all dead! What? And I talked to Jessica Rabbit and she tells me to go find her phone number and it's actually a real number. Okay, um, let's call it up. You have dialed a number that is not available from your calling area. Well, crap. <laughs> I can't believe she gave me a fake phone number. How could she? Now how am I going to find who framed Roger the Sandwich? It was that guy. That guy did it. Ted, though, throughout this entire season, which hilariously takes place in two days in their time, is trying extremely hard to let go of Robin and let her get married to his best friend. 
What the fuck? What? Serious question here. A real physiological question. One that Socrates wishes he came up with. Why does this exist? Why is there a Mario bootleg game called Seven Granddad that has the story of a random Fred Flintstones game and when you start the game you're greeted with a Fred Flintstones whose head been cut off by Conan himself and replaced with Mario's head? Do we really need this in our lives? Will the future of the human race be altered if we go back in time and give the person who made this abomination a good stern talk? What? Ah, crap. I died. Short. Yeah, Bart, I'm pretty sure this is the wrong place, wrong time, and most importantly, wrong people to say that phrase to, because I'm pretty sure they're gonna eat much more of you than your shorts. Uh, check, please. What? Hey, Bugs, you, um, you doing okay there? I feel like you may have taken something before going on this trip. Why are you in such a hurry, buddy? Maybe this whole game is just one giant, giant trip fest. Trip fest, and it's Simon Bugs Bunny's birthday. Oh, jeez. Don't hurt your friends. Bugs, stop hitting your friends. What? But of course, these old geezers can't just sign a picture for someone's birthday, Spongebob has to bring him a snack first. But hey, you can't criticize him too hard. I mean, this is probably gonna be Mermaid Man's last snack of his life. Uh, yeah. uh, see that butter? Uh, tomatoes? Jelly? <laughs> Oh my god, that is probably the saddest order I, I think I've ever heard. And and with that said, um, do you want fries with that? You're asking for a little too much, buddy. Don't push it. What the f I'm Sonic. Click on me. No, no, you are not Sonic. What is this? This cannot be real. Why would Sega let this happen? Why? But Mr. Frost's henchmen find him, and it's revealed that he actually works for Mr. Frost. <gasps> oh god, I knew it. Can it be cool, Batman? <laughs> Oh god! Now let's stop beating around the bush, and let's get right into the first Shrek game ever made. Shrek. It's it's just called Shrek for the Xbox. <laughs> oh, what a great picture for the title screen. Oh god! I've invested a lot of money into this wildcat whale of yours, Doctor. Well then, you may be pleased to hear, Mr. Chairman. We can make a mean snowman with all that ice, I'm just saying. Oh, now you're speaking my language! Start digging! Wow, this guy seems like a real professional scientist. Yo, Carl, is the best of Keisha segment done yet? Well, shit. 